Okay, today we're going to be looking at Up the Ladder, Session 17. Before you do this lesson, please make sure you go and um, look at the read aloud on pages 31 and 38 that we did in class. You may watch the audio at the bottom of the lesson. So today we're going to teach you the readers of narrative nonfiction notice details that feel interesting and important and ask themselves what those details are showing them and use those details to show inferences about the story or about the information that's in the text. Have you noticed that when somebody or any teacher, somebody, a student asks a teacher for a pencil, they might just stare at you or them with those eyes. You know what that means, right? Right away. The teacher doesn't have to say a word, do they? Of course you know what it means. All right, by now we expect everyone to know that they need to equip themselves with a pencil by keeping track of their belongings and being prepared. So when I or another teacher give you that special look, you can figure out what the meaning is is without needing me or another teacher to spell it out. Today's work will be about using those clues to figure things out. Today you'll be making inferences. When you make an inference, you draw on what you know <clears throat> to make your best guess about what something really means. So our teaching point today is that I want to teach you that when you come across details that seem especially interesting and important in your reading, it can help to make an inference. Ask yourself, what am I realizing now and what is that showing me? Okay, so let's go back and look at some of the details from the time just after Brian got caught breaking the marine rules and when he decided to adopt nubs for good. This is going to be on page 25. Okay. okay, so on this page, it says Nub sat close by as Brian emailed his family and friends back home, and he supervised the men as they put up flyers to raise the money needed for his journey. So in this email, it says from Brian Dennis, subject, Nubs can't stay, date January 2008. This all came to a crashing halt when two soldiers who were not part of our team reported us. We were, giving four, we were given four days to get rid of the dog or else. That night I sat down and talked to my Marines. We knew that if we took Nubs to the fort, he would come back to us. This made the decision easy for me. Nubs was going to America. This dog who had been through a lifetime of fighting, war and abuse was going to have a new sunny life and would never be cold again. And on the right, this is one of those flyers that they were putting up. It says, we are trying to evacuate nubs to the States via Jordan. It is going to cost upwards of $2,000 to do this. If you want to help save nubs, bring a small cash donation by the BTT 352 COC. Any bit will help and will be much appreciated. You can even come visit him in San Diego when we get him there. This dog found us after walking nearly seven miles in the desert and we were going to help him. He is an awesome dog. So remember, we're going to look at what details jump out that are especially interesting from that section. Well, what I see is that he sent this email that he realized he had to have nubs go to America, right? that he had been through so much fighting, war, abuse, that he was going to have a good life again. And then we also see that they put up flyers and they're raising money, $2,000 to get him evacuated to the United States, asking people to come donate, give money, saying they can even come see him when they are, when they get him safe back in San Diego. So we're going to look then at, what else? What is my inference? So I want, when I come back, it says, what kind of inference can we make about Brian and Brian's role? Well, when I put all that together, 
I'm thinking that right now, Brian is determined. He is a determined person. He is determined to get nubs to America. He's determined. They put up flyers. They're, they're raising money. Nothing is going to stop him. In fact, another word we could say is that an inference is that Brian is unstoppable at this moment. He is not going to stop until Nobbs gets back to the United States. So that is an inference. I take important information, things that I realize as I'm reading, and take and make an inference with all those. All right. We go back and say, what do I realize? What are these interesting things tell me about Brian? And they tell me that he's very determined and he is unstoppable. So for your independent work today, you're going to reread what we just read on 25 and you're going to read page 26 from Nobs, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to think to yourself, what do I realize now? And what might this be showing me? This time you're going to be looking at nubs.